Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Thursday, December 28, 2023. I pray that as we read this morning, that the Lord will continue to bless you. Our reading come to us this morning from Psalms 23, reading verses 1 to 6. It says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. Verse 3 says, He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Verse 4, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Verse 5, Thou preparest a table before me, in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Verse 6 and last says, Surely, Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I say, Amen. We give God thanks this morning for His word, reminding us that He is the Good Shepherd. He is the one that takes care of our needs. Right? And with God as our provider, we need not worry about tomorrow. We need not worry about what we will eat or drink. We just need to trust God to take care of our needs. Right? He said that nothing good will He withhold from us. And He's our Father. He's our friend. And He's our Savior. And so, he is more than capable of providing for us with all these extensive resources that he has. He created this world and therefore everything that is in this world, in this universe, belongs to him. Right? And so may we learn to trust him. Right? He said that he can lead us beside still waters right he can restore our soul he can refresh us and even when we walk through the valley of the shadow of death when we are going through those tough crucibles we need not to fear because god our protector will be there he will see us through and so let us move forward in confidence trust in him knowing that his rod and his staff will comfort us. God has never failed us and he will never fail us. And may we continue to trust in him as we look forward to his soon return. May God continue to bless you and keep you and your family as we continue in this day.